Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage the president of Disney Cruise Line and New Vacation Operations, Mr. Carl Holtz. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I assume we're alive and well. I got to stop and not get into the discussion here a second. It's always great to see when an industry is involved in something that is focused on improving the lives of those that are nowhere near as fortunate as us. So when I see Clea under the leadership of Cindy, getting involved with Mercy Ships. That's got to make all of you feel good. So if you can join me in a round of applause. <laughs> I must tell you, it's a pleasure to join you for this year's Cruise 360 conference. Today's general session is especially fun, themed to how can we inspire each other to higher levels of excellence, higher levels of performance, and ultimately, stronger business results. This is really an ambitious exercise, looking at ways to become better at what we do, more efficient, more creative, and more innovative. Now, wait a minute, that sounds sort of like a piece out of the Disney playbook. <laughs> Am I allowed to talk about that? To become truly inspired, it takes an open mind, and as we like to say at Disney, a willingness to dream big. If we do these things successfully, we can almost assume superhuman powers. We may not wear capes or carry shields or battle the world's most evil supervillains, but we can channel our inner superheroes. And since I'm going to talk about how to enhance the customer and client experience today, let's just think of ourselves as Guest service superheroes. You good with that? So how do we develop these otherworldly powers, powers that enable us to eradicate uninspired thinking, poor service, and a stuck-in-a-rut company culture? Where I come from, we do have a few secrets. Some of them are obvious, and others are a bit more counterintuitive. On one level, delivering a great client and customer experience is pretty straightforward. You give them everything they expect, and then you give them some more. Yet we know that countless factors must be in place to make that happen seamlessly and naturally. During the course of my career, I've seen or heard a few things that illustrate why Disney is so unique when it comes to the guest experience. One memory that, that comes to mind often is something that happened to me on the Disney Dream uh, a few years ago. I noticed a woman holding up her camera and she's filming me. Filming me this way, that way, everywhere I walk, she's filming me. I thought, great. It's gonna be on YouTube, it's gonna be on Facebook, or it's gonna be on Instagram, and my kids are gonna say, oh, Dad, you were here. But, so I struck up a conversation with her, and she turned out to be a repeat cruiser from South Carolina, a member of our Castaway Club. She had simply recognized me. Anyway, she told me her family sails with us three or four times a year, and that they were thrilled to be on board again. So as I typically do, I asked her if there was anything we could do to make her Disney Cruise experience even better. And she replied, don't change a thing. The reason we sail with Disney is because we trust you. We feel safe, and we know you'll always deliver a fantastic experience. Now that word, trust, it's an incredibly important word, so think about it, trust. How do you get to a point where families would trust us? To always give them over-the-top service and to create special moments they'll never forget. This applies to all of you as well. Trust is key. Clearly, this level of trust is something that's been established over many years through the exceptional service of our cast and crew. And frankly, as I said, it's integral to your own client relationships as well. 
We've also made it a priority to deliver experiences that may be completely unexpected. The combination of consistently great service as well as surprise and delight moments, that is what makes a Disney vacation truly magical. And it's what all of us can infuse into our day-to-day -day businesses to elevate our own game. Several fundamental aspects of our Disney culture enable us to create these kinds of experiences over and over again. And these are ideas for you to consider as you strive to enhance the customer experience in your own organizations. So as you might imagine, making dreams come true with our cruise business, operating four ships around the world, a private island, all of that requires plenty of hard work. Turning these dreams into reality starts with dialogue, brainstorming, and ideas. And let me tell you, lots and lots of ideas. I'm sure that many of you operate this way, and it's certainly true at Disney. We're constantly looking for new concepts that have great potential to really dazzle our guests and exceed their expectations. We believe that great ideas come from everyone and everywhere. And that means truly listening. I'll say it again, listening to those around you and opening our ears to all input, whether it's good, whether it's bad or indifferent. Then to nurture those ideas, we empower our teams to challenge the status quo, to push for the impossible, and to think in completely new ways. You know, just because something was done a certain way for 10 years doesn't make it okay to continue doing it that way. In fact, that's probably a sign that things need to change. The bottom line is this, challenging the way you do things often leads to surprisingly better results. The fact is, accepting the status quo is simply not a part of Disney's DNA. Once we have an idea, we combine it with thorough research, strategic planning, and testing. We then throw in a measure of discipline and perseverance. And then, we make it happen with great leadership, teamwork, and commitment. This creative confidence is critical to everything that we do at Disney. And we're nothing without big ideas. One of our most successful ideas has been the way we've infused the incredibly popular Star Wars saga into the Disney Cruise experience. We have one fan right here. <laughs> God, that feels good. <laughs> we added special sailings on the Disney fantasy that take guests to a galaxy far, far away, giving them Star Wars Day at Sea. These special one-day celebrations combine the power of the Force with our award-winning shipboard experiences, legendary service, and classic Disney magic. Since their debut in 2016, our Star Wars Day at Sea celebration have inspired all ages, from the youngest Padawan to the most knowledgeable Jedi Master. In a similar way, we're bringing the heroic and unforgettable stories of the Marvel Universe to life on board our ships. Marvel Day at Sea will take place this year and next on the Disney Magic, featuring exclusive character interactions and experiences, including appearances by Spider-Man, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange. They asked me to be Hulk, but I declined. <laughs> During each of these day-long experiences, families will enjoy a Marvel-themed deck party, youth activities, special merchandise, and unique food and beverage offerings, as well as Marvel film screenings at sea. So here's a brief video clip promoting this new offering. Enjoy. I 
joins forces with you on an epic voyage. Disney Cruise Line presents Marvel Day at Sea. Discover Marvel's superheroes, comics, films, and more on this one epic day at sea. So both the Star Wars and Marvel celebrations are examples that speak to creative thinking and storytelling and how we must continue to develop new ways to deliver a one-of-a-kind and unforgettable cruise experience while addressing evolving guest demand. It's important to remember that this kind of innovative thinking, it just can't happen in the operation or in the marketing department. You need to cultivate it across all areas of your organization, human resources, finance, technology, to sales, and well beyond that. Now, another thing I want to talk about is risk taking. We learned a long time ago that every big idea carries big risks. Take Snow White, for example. When Walt Disney said he was going to create the first full-length feature animated film, people said no one would come. It was a big risk and also one of the biggest films of 1937. Since then, the Walt Disney Company has repeated this risk before success pattern time and time again. In more recent times, frankly, the creation of Disney Cruise Line was exactly such a risk. It was a venture unlike anything the company had done in the past. At that time, we had limited experience in the maritime world, but there were three things that we knew and which we believed in. First, we knew the cruise industry was focused on adults at the time rather than children and families. Second, Cruising would be a great complement to the theme park experience. And third, we knew a thing or two about the family travel market, I think. This created the perfect opportunity for Disney. So we took what we knew well, family entertainment and great guest service, and started building our own cruise business in 1994. And then in 1998, we introduced Cruise Line, Disney Cruise Line, to our guests the first cruise line focused on families. We designed a bow to stern experience that brings everyone together. Moms and dads, kids and grandparents, multiple generations, single parents and their families, friends and neighbors. To succeed, we had to get certain things exactly right. We had to build a solid team of both Disney veterans and maritime professionals. And on top of that, we had to make sure the product itself reflected innovation, creativity, and storytelling. From the design and the colors of the ship, to the restaurants, to the shows, and numerous other activities. By the way, we gave our ships the exact colors of Mickey Mouse, black, red, yellow, and white. Basically, we had to create a formula for an unparalleled cruise experience tailored to every member of the family, whether they were 6, 16, or 60. We took a very calculated risk, and it's worked out pretty well. That's not to say that we didn't have issues. But as we know from any good story, what's important is how we learn from our mistakes. After all, even superheroes must overcome failure from time to time. In our case, the early days of Disney Cruise Line were a challenge, as we sought to integrate the maritime culture with our theme park culture. We planned to completely reinvent the way cruise ship interiors were designed. Of course, that presented a, a few difficulties for us and the shipyard. For one thing, we had to integrate a creative team from Walt Disney Imagineering with the shipyard team on site. That was a huge undertaking. Imagineering is enormously successful at creating theme parks and attractions, but the shipbuilding process, that was entirely new to them. At the same time, <coughs> the shipyard had never dealt with client oversight quite this intense, or perhaps loving. Might be a bit kinder and gentler. 
Ultimately, we learned to work together very well, and we brought our vision to life. But we also learned that in many cases, we needed to stick to the model established by the maritime industry. For example, we didn't have a hotel director or a cruise director in place at the very beginning. Looking back, we were nuts. <laughs> we thought we could run our ship like resorts. Again, we were nuts. Thankfully, reality set in and common sense prevailed. So frankly, I can't stress enough how important it is to acknowledge your mistakes, to be willing to change them, and to move on. It's something that we are deeply committed to. It's absolutely critical, and you're only doing yourself and your organization a disservice if you can't be flexible and move on in a different direction when the situation calls for it. So in the early stages of Disney Cruise Line, we quickly learned new lessons and made adjustments, and the rest is history. Now, on a smaller scale, Disney recently dipped its toes into another cruising market, European river cruising. This was another risk, but one that has proven to be successful. Through our guided travel business, Adventures by Disney, we have worked to reimagine the river cruise experience specifically for the family market. It's a collaboration with our friends at AMA Waterways, who have introduced two new ships. I think you know them, OK? And they're designed with families in mind. But I must say that AMA Waterways has been the perfect partner for us. Their expertise in river cruising is unparalleled, and we're grateful for their leadership in the industry. Now, as you know, river cruising has traditionally been focused on the older adult market. So we're taking a risk by jumping in and creating a new family niche. And so far, the results have been very positive. Demand was strong for our sailings along the Danube River in 2016. And we added a Rhine River itinerary sailing through Switzerland, France, Germany, and the Netherlands. River cruising with Adventures by Disney is active, it's immersive, and it's easy. And the experience is delivered with great attention to detail. The stories we tell along the way, those stories bring the destinations to life. So here's a little clip that gives you a taste of what these special cruises are like. Experiences are the most important thing on earth. Not things, you know, people and places and the things that you do and the relationships that you make. That's what life's all about. The thing we try to do is show our children there is this big, wide world out there. All walks of life, all different ways of living. On the Rhine River Cruise, we take families to the storybook towns of Europe. The children are in these towns, their imagination is just reignited and they become children again. They're getting to see things and experience things that they would never experience back home. The ship was beautiful. We got to sit there and just have the scenery constantly changing. It's hard to believe that this is real life. Together. That's what this vacation has done for us. We've really been in the moment. 
think they'll talk about it for years to come. You know, remember when? So now that you've asked your teams to challenge the status quo, and you've begun taking smart risks, what's left? Actually, we haven't even talked about the most important element yet. The secret to our magic at Disney is simply our cast and our crew. You'll see our crew members kneel down to a child's level when they talk to your kids. They not only answer your questions, they get to know you. They make you smile. They show respect to children, and they show respect as well to grown-ups who still act like children. <laughs> I'm a case in point, so. In short, they make you happy. Here's a quick story that really captures the special quality of our crew. A family was strolling along deck nine of the Disney Magic and noticed a crew member in a yellow jumpsuit doing some maintenance painting on the ship. At first, they were simply impressed that the crew member turned around and greeted them when he heard them approaching. But then the crew member saw how excited the little boy was to watch him work, and the mom explained that her son loved to paint. So the crew member took it upon himself and waved him over, put the paintbrush in the little boy's hand, and let him paint a few strokes on the ship. That little boy was absolutely thrilled, and he said later, he got to, quote, paint the ship. <laughs> A tiny bit. <laughs> the parents were thrilled, too, because it was such a personal, genuine experience and made such an impression on their son and a memory for them. It made the entire crew special for that family, and it cost us nothing. It's all about your team and how your culture and your values inspire people to step up and take ownership of what they do. You know, of all the great experiences we have on board our ships and of all the great places we go to, the number one compliment by far is about our crew. Our guests tell us their interaction with our crew is one of the main reasons they want to sail with us again. And it doesn't happen by accident. It's a strategy we've worked, worked hard to develop and refine. Creating a guest-focused culture means putting a huge emphasis on your team. It means training and developing them and helping them grow. It means asking for their feedback and truly listening to them. And it means recognizing them, celebrating their success, and spreading the power of thank you. Let me say that again. Spreading the power of thank you. It's absolutely core to what we believe in. And at Disney, and probably at many of your companies, this process begins with leadership. We're committed to hiring and developing great leaders. We recruit from around the world, and we search for the very best talent that's out there. In other words, you must have the perfect cast of superheroes for your story to be successful. So it all boils down to this. When leaders take care of the cast and crew, they in turn take care of our guests and the business results will follow. So as you've learned by now, we're all about delivering fun immersive family experiences at Disney. Straying from that storyline, even in little ways, would not only be bad for business, but also, <coughs> excuse me, it's my Friday afternoon cold, <laughs> but also bad for our brand. Our identity plays a big role in the decisions we make each and every day. Everything we do must fit closely with that identity. And the same rules apply to each one of you and your businesses. Quite frankly, we can only advance by striving for and achieving excellence in everything we do 
and by never, ever compromising our values and beliefs. So as I mentioned earlier, we must channel our inner superheroes. We must empower ourselves and our teams. We must fight for what is right, virtuous and honorable. We must take action now to protect our fellow citizens. And together, we must join forces to defend the entire universe. Well, at, at least the entire cruise industry. So from all of us at Disney Cruise Line and from our friends joining us today from the Marvel Universe, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Doctor Strange, thank you for your continued support of cruising and thank you for being a part of Cruise 360. So it's been a pleasure speaking to you today. Now go out there and show us your own superpowers. Have a great afternoon, folks.